hello everyone let us start uh, solving problems on uh, simply supported beam by conjugate beam method okay this is the first problem on uh, simply supported beam the statement is calculate slopes at the support and deflection under the point load calculate slopes at the supports so support a what is theta a support b what is theta b and deflection under the point load that is at point c here they have not asked what is maximum deflection they are asking the deflection under the point load delta c so here we need to calculate what is theta a theta c and delta c okay so the given problem is nothing but real beam the original beam so now we need to first draw the <coughs> bending moment diagram for this okay so first we need to draw the bending moment diagram that is m by er diagram for this simply supported beam okay so simply support beam subjected to concentrated load at a distance a and b okay it is not a symmetrical load okay so you are aware about this the standard loading the variation of bending moment and what will be the maximum bending moment so it is w a b by n okay where w is the concentrated load the a is 3 meters b is 2 meters l is total span or else what we need to do first you need to calculate what is reaction ra and rb okay how will calculate ra and rb using equilibrium condition either you can take moment at b equal to 0 you will get what is ra then a plus sigma b equal to 0 you will get what is rb okay so once you get ra and rb you are taking moment at c so ra into 3 meters that is moment at c or else from right hand side rb into 2 meters that is the moment at c okay so here the moment at a and moment at b will be zero correct if the last supports are simple support <coughs> sorry roller support or hinge support then moment about that particular support will be zero correct so here this is standard loading so acting at a distance a and b the concentrated load wab by l so w is 80 a is 3 meters and b is 2 meters divided by l is 5 meters okay simplify this you will be getting 96 so we want the m by er diagram so what we want the m by er diagram so it is 96 by ei correct i need to write it so again if you see the moment of inertia from a to c it is 2i from c to b it is 3i exactly at point c the moment of inertia it is changing correct so if i consider this side right hand side of c then it is 3i exactly from c to left hand side it is 2i so if i consider this figure this triangle i need to write it as 96 by 3e i the same thing if i consider this side so it is 96 by 2e i correct exactly here this side 96 by 3e i this side it is 96 by 2e i okay this triangle is of what 96 by 2e i this triangle is of height 96 by 3e i so this is m by a diagram this is real beam so this diagram will be always positive correct that is for simply supported beam okay so once you get the real beam the m by a diagram next step we need to draw the conjugate beam so what will be the conjugate beam so simple end or roller end or hinge end so it will be remaining same hinged is there it will be hinged roller it will be roller itself okay the compatibility with respect to slope and shear force the deflection 
and bending moment it will be there if you consider the simple support roller support or hinge support in real beam then in conjugate beam it has to be same correct so now next what will be the loading on this conjugate beam the m by a diagram of the real beam is the loading on the conjugate beam if the diagram is positive then i need to consider it is acting downwards on the conjugate beam if the diagram is negative i need to consider upwards on the conjugate beam so in cantilever beam problems so we have considered upwards since the diagrams were negative correct so here this is positive diagram so i need to consider it acting downwards okay so this height is 96 by ei that is 3 ei this side here 96 by 2 ei this side 96 by 3 ei this side it is 96 by 2 ei i need to consider it acting downwards correct the load on the conjugate beam the m by a diagram it is downwards okay now i need to find what is the slope and deflection under point load so let me show this point this is point a this is point b and this is point c this is three meters this is two meters okay so now according to conjugate beam theorem okay so that is conjugate beam theorem one if i want to find the slope at a that is slope at a in real beam is equal to shear force at a in conjugate beam so what will be the shear force at a in conjugate beam this is conjugate beam so we are finding slope at a in real beam so the compatibility between slope and shear force with respect to the support condition such that if you calculate slope you will be getting shear force correct so what will be the shear force at a in conjugate beam so total vertical force so either the reaction ra correct i will be writing here just left to the point a for understanding purpose or else the rightwards load total load i need to calculate the reaction rb okay so it is something like cutting a section the left side it is ra the right side entire thing load including rb okay so if you consider left hand side you need to calculate ra if you consider right hand side this load is known but again we need to calculate rb also so it's nothing but i need to calculate both the reactions it's mandatory but in case of cantilever beam the finding out reaction it may not be mandatory okay so we have considered the left hand side what the total load correct so if i calculate the reaction how to calculate reaction so this is the loading that is area load is equal to area of these figures then we need to calculate what are the reactions okay so to calculate reaction let us take moment about c equal to sorry moment about b equal to zero if i take moment about b equal to zero okay so you are taking moment at b so due to rb the moment at b is zero then these figures okay cut the section from leftwards clockwise positive you are taking moment here the leftwards so ra is making the clockwise moment so ra into phi you are taking moment about b so due to ra perpendicular distance is phi ra into phi it is clockwise okay then this triangle okay so either you can consider this entire triangle as one or else you can consider these two separate angles okay so but here the thing is the both the triangles are having different heights if you consider entire triangle as one then height should be same 
बट हियर दिस साइड इट इज नाइन्टी सिक्स बाय टू ई दिस साइड इट इज नाइन्टी सिक्स बाय थ्री ई आई सो आई कैन नॉट कंसिडर द एंटायर ट्राइंगल एज वन सो आई नीड टू स्प्लिट इन टू टू ट्राइंगल्स सो इफ आई कंसिडर दिस ट्राइंगल ओके सी जी विल बी समवेयर हियर ओके सो आई विल राइट हियर सो फ्रॉम दिस टू दिस करेक्ट सो इट इज दिस लोड इज मेकिंग एंटी क्लॉक वाइज मूवमेंट डाउनवर्ड्स सो एंटी क्लॉक वाइज सो इट इज नो माइनस ओके वॉट इज द एरिया ऑफ ट्राइंगल हाफ इंटू बेस इज थ्री मीटर्स इंटू हाइट इज नाइंटी सिक्स बाय टू ई आई करेक्ट सो लेट मी राइट दिस इन बिगर स्केल नाइंटी सिक्स बाय टू ई आई सीज विल बी हियर फ्रॉम हियर टू हियर डिस्टेंस आई वॉन्ट सो दिस इज एरिया ओके देन परपेंडिकुलर डिस्टेंस फ्रॉम हियर टू हियर from here to here it is 2 meters from here to here it is 1/3 of 3 from maximum it is 1/3 so 1/3 of 3 plus 2 okay so then one more this triangle cz will be somewhere here from here to here so what is this from zero position 2/3 of base it is 2 meters okay so how it is rotating again this triangle is rotating anti clockwise so minus so what is the area half into base is 2 into height is 96 by 3 yeah 96 by 3 yeah this is area into perpendicular distance that is 2/3 of 2 correct so e is equal to 0 Sigma m equal to zero. You are taking, so the whole thing. If you do the calculation, okay. So if you calculate, you will be getting R a. So R a, you will be getting it as fifty one point seven three by e i. Fifty one point seven three by e i. So then one more condition. So if you apply sigma v equal to zero. So if you apply sigma v equal to zero, then R a plus R b upwards minus this total load. Okay, the area of this triangle that is half into base is three meters into height is ninety six by two e i. Minus area of this triangle, half into base is two meters, height is ninety six by three i. So it you are applying only sigma b equal to zero, correct? So if you simplify, so R a is known. So this value substitute here. You are simplifying for R b. So you will be getting R b as fifty two point. Two seven by e i. Fifty two point two seven by e i. Now if you check, R a is fifty one point seven three by e i. R b is fifty two point two seven by e i. Both are different since it is unsymmetrical loading. It is not same value of R a and R b. Okay, so we were finding the slope at a. So slope at a in real beam is equal to shear force at a in conjugate beam. So this is the conjugate beam. So what will be the shear force at point A? Either the reaction, the left hand side if you consider the reaction you need to write, or else right hand if you consider the total vertical force. So which one is better? So whether to consider the left hand side only reaction R A, or else this entire thing. Okay, so already you know what is reaction R A, so you can write that. So slope at A in real beam, that is theta A is nothing but shear force at A in conjugate beam, that is nothing but the reaction, reaction at A directly. Okay, cut a section, total vertical force. Okay, that is R A. Okay, already have calculated fifty one point seven three. So theta A is equal to fifty one point Seven three by e i radians. 
okay similarly if you want to find theta c so slopes at the supports they have asked no so let it be we can find theta c and also theta b okay so what is the slope at the support p that is theta b is equal to total vertical force in conjugate beam okay slope at b in real beam is equal to shear force at b in conjugate beam if you are finding the shear force uh, that is slope at b correct so it is something like cutting a section here rightwards if you consider the reaction rb leftwards if you consider the total vertical force including this triangle uh, and this ra okay which one is better so it is nothing but reaction which we have already calculated reaction at b always remember in simply supported beam slope at support a is nothing but reaction at a and slope at b that is one more support so it is nothing but reaction at b in conjugate beam that will be the shear force the vertical force okay so how much it will be theta b so if you write so the reaction is 52.27 by er radians that is theta b so according to sign convention if you are going so from leftwards upwards from rightwards downwards then positive but this reaction is upwards okay cut a section rightwards if it is downwards positive but this is upwards so you can write this as theta b as negative okay so need not worry about this so theta b is 52.27 by ei is that okay so now one more is theta c so if you are finding theta c okay so that is slope at c in real beam is equal to shear force at c in conjugate beam correct so this is a conjugate beam so now exactly at point c you are finding so means you are cutting a section here now either total leftwards vertical forces calculation or is the rightward vertical forces you need to calculate if you consider rightwards so this area of triangle then rb if you consider leftwards this area of triangle then ra okay so whichever convenient you can do it suppose if i consider leftwards okay theta c is equal to if i consider leftwards so sign convention cut a section leftwards if it is upwards positive so ra is upwards so how much is ra ra is 51.73 by ei so ra is 51.73 by ei then this area of this triangle you are taking that calculating total vertical force at c from leftwards since it is downwards according to sign convention so left hand side negative minus area of triangle half into base is 3 meters into height is 96 by 2 ei so if you uh, simplify this so you will be getting so it is minus 20 point 27 by er radians okay so this is theta c so similarly if i want to find the deflection at point c that is under the point load according to conjugate beam theorem to the deflection at c in real beam is equal to what is that bending moment at c in conjugate beam so deflection at c in real beam delta c is equal to what is the bending moment at c in conjugate beam this is conjugate beam okay now again cut the section at c either you can consider left hand side take the moment or else consider right hand side 
take the moment whichever is convenient you can adopt that so you can use the sign convention cut a section rightwards anti clockwise leftwards clockwise this is the post you okay suppose if i consider left hand side okay so this is left hand side so ra into 3 meters movement at c from left hand side okay so ra it is how much is 51.73 51.73 by ei into 3 meters then area of this triangle into cz perpendicular is only up to c so how much is that area of triangle it is rotating anti clockwise now so if it is clockwise positive from leftwards you are taking leftwards so ra is clockwise so plus ra so this area of triangle is anti clockwise so minus half into base is 3 meters into height is 96 by 2 ei into perpendicular distance what is this from here to here that is one third of three okay so if you simplify this uh, you will be getting 83.19 by ei this is delta c meters okay so this is how you will be doing the slope and uh, deflection in simply supported beam so we have found the slope at a slope at b and slope at c at the supports theta a and theta b and at the point load application point load theta c and even we have found the deflection at point c that is delta c okay so using the same conjugate beam theorem one and two okay let us solve one more problem on uh, simply supported beam so to determine slope and deflection at point b and at point c so this is point a this is point b this is point c and let us call this point as d so here they have asked at point b and c what is theta b and what is theta c what is delta b and what is delta c okay so simply supported subjected to two point loads so varying moment of inertia a to c it is i c to d it is 2i d to b it is 3i okay the given problem we can call this as real beam correct the original beam so now for this real beam so we need to first draw the bending moment diagram that is m by ei diagram so first we need to calculate what are the reactions to find the moments moment at a is zero moment at b is zero if the last supports are simple support ruler support or in support then moment will be zero so ma is zero mb is zero then we need to calculate what is moment at c and what is moment at d to calculate this we require the reactions ra and rb so first calculate the reactions for original beam okay reactions for real beam okay so if i take moment about b equal to 0 here so ra into 3 plus 3 plus 3 so it is 9 this is ra clockwise i will consider clockwise as positive so ra into 9 so due to this 50 that is minus 50 into perpendicular is 6 minus 100 into 3 okay is equal to 0 correct ra into 9 minus 50 into 6 minus 100 into 3 so if you simplify for ra so you will be getting around 66 0.67 kilonewton okay so 66.67 kilonewton then if you apply one more equilibrium condition sigma v equal to 0 plus ra plus rb this is rb minus 50 minus 
sorry it is 100 equal to 0 you will get rb substitute the value of ra then simplify it so this is minus 150 then this is 66.67 so ultimately we will be getting rb as 83.33 kilonewton okay so it is 83.33 kilonewton that is rb so these are the reactions for real beam so why these reactions are required to draw the bending moment diagram for this real beam correct m by a diagram we need to draw it so now if i draw the m by a diagram moment at a is zero so now what is the moment at c cut a section consider left hand side so sign convention cut a section consider left hand side if it is clockwise from right hand side if it is anti-clockwise then it is positive so you are cutting the section here considering left hand side this ra is making clockwise clockwise positive r 66.67 into 3 so that will be the moment here okay 66.67 into 3 if you do it so you will be getting around i will write here only that is 200 okay then moment at d so now i will consider right hand side because only one load is there the right hand side cut a section right hand side if it is anti-clockwise positive i will take moment at d so right hand side that is rb into 3 meters okay so if i take from left hand side ra into 6 minus 50 into 3 so anyone so it's better only one reaction is there so you can calculate so 83.33 into 3 so it might be here more than this 200 you will be getting here the moment as 250 okay just join these two okay this triangle of height 200 this triangle i've had 250 and this trapezoidal i need to split into standard okay one rectangle and one triangle so now i need to take care of this moment of inertias correct so from a to c it is i so means a point is here c point is here d point is here b point is here a to c it is 200 by ei is it correct okay exactly point c the moment of inertia changes left hand side it is i right hand side it is 2i up to which point up to point d okay from c to this side it is 200 by ei this height it is 200 by 2 ei correct so if i draw a line straight line from this so the same value will be here at d this side left hand side it is 2i so what is this this is also 200 by 2ei this side 200 by 2ei this side it is 200 by 2ei so again at point d this side it is 3i so this side so moment is 250 by 3ei okay so this total is 250 by 3i at point d okay so what is the moment at point d so that is 250 so 250 total height if i consider right hand side it is 250 by 3i if i consider left hand it is 250 by 2i so again this total height if i consider the left hand side total is 250 by 2i if i draw this so it is 250 by 2ei okay total from here to here left side so but according to this height we have drawn a straight line and this height from here to here it is 200 by 2ei total is 250 by 2ei what is left so only this so what is this this is 250 minus 200 that is 50 by 2ei correct 
so let me tell you once again so this triangle of height 200 by ei this triangle is of height 250 by 3 ei this rectangle is of height 200 by 2 ei so this triangle is of height 50 by 2 ei is that okay just check it okay so once you draw this m by ei diagram the next figure it should be the conjugate bit okay the next step so here no space but we'll manage here so the what will be the conjugate beam the simple support will remain simple support simple support will remain simple support this is conjugate beam so what will be the loading on this conjugate beam that is m by er diagram of original beam will be the loading on this conjugate beam so let me draw this again so this okay 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 this height it is 200 by ei yeah. so this and this it is 200 by 2 ei and this this side it is 250 by 3 ei okay so this from here to here the, this triangle height it is 50 by 2 ei okay okay so this is conjugate beam now i need to find the reactions in conjugate beam okay so this is ra this is rb ra rb this reaction ra this reaction rb so now what it is reactions for conjugate beam now okay so this reaction and this reaction why those are required so to calculate shear force and also bending moment so ultimately to calculate slope and deflection correct so now to calculate this reactions so let us take moment about point b equal to zero okay again let us consider clockwise moment as positive so ra this ra up to point moment at b so total it is 3 plus 3 plus 3 9 so ra into 9 then each individual figure okay the cz is acting here okay each individual figure the load is assumed to act at the cz so again from this to this the moment okay so one by one so we have considered the load on this conjugate beam to act downwards since the m by a diagram is positive if the m by diagram is positive then we need to consider it is acting downwards on the conjugate beam correct so now first triangle okay this triangle what is the area of this triangle it is rotating first how it is anti-clockwise okay cut a section from left hand side if it is clockwise positive so ra it is clockwise about point b so it is positive so now this triangle it is rotating anti-clockwise so minus what is the area half into base is 3 meters and height is 200 by ar okay then perpendicular distance from here to here so from here to here it is one third of base that is one third of three from here to here it is six so one third of three plus six correct so next this rectangle uh, sorry minus it is rotating anti-clockwise so minus what is the area of this rectangle i will write it here so 200 by 2 ei into 3 meters 
it is the area into perpendicular distance from here to here from here to here it is 3 meters from here to here it is 1.5 meters rectangle this will be at the center so total it will be 3 plus 1.5 so it is 4.5 okay then minus this triangle half base is 3 meters and height is 50 by 2 ei correct so the perpendicular distance from this cg to this so from here to here it is 3 meters from here to here it is ma maximum position one third of base one third of 3 plus 3 correct so one third of 3 from here to here plus 3 meters up to this then minus the last triangle what is the area half into base is 3 meters into height is now this side 250 by 3 EI into distance from here to here what is that so now it is 2 third of 3 is equal to 0 ok so all the 4 uh, different figures 3 triangles and 1 rectangle so total area into perpendicular distance okay so once you do this you are getting the value of ei sorry not uh, ei is constant only here if you simplify this is it visible yes if you simplify this you will be getting ra equal to mm, yes after simplification you will be getting 427.78 by ei okay and again once you get this one more equilibrium condition sigma v equal to 0 so for this figure if you apply sigma v equal to 0 that is R A plus R B then this area of this all the figures minus vertical so first triangle half into base is 3 meters into height is 200 by EI minus this rectangle that is 200 by 2 EI into 3 meters minus half into base is 3 into height is 50 by 2 ei minus half into base is 3 meters into height is 250 by 3 ei is equal to 0 so ra plus rb then this negative diagrams okay minus 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 okay acting downwards okay so again if you simplify this after substitution of rb you will be getting as 334.72 334.72 by ei ra and rb okay so these are the reactions for this conjugate beam okay so first we have started with the real beam for this real beam we have calculated the reactions then we have drawn bending moment m by a diagram then we have drawn conjugate beam so then we have considered m by a diagram of real beam as the loading on the conjugate beam for this loading we have found what are the reactions ra and rb these are the ra and rb so now I need to find the theta b theta c so what you mean by theta b the slope at b so that is I will write it here according to conjugate beam theorem 1 so slope okay slope at b in real beam is equal to shear force at b in conjugate beam 
करेक्ट स्लोप एट बी इन रियल बीम इज इक्वल टू शेयर फोर्स एट बी इन कॉन्जिकेट बीम सो थीटा बी ओके सो वेर द बी इज पॉइंट इज सो बी पॉइंट इज हियर ओके दैट इज द सपोर्ट सो वॉट इज थीटा बी सो नथिंग बट रिएक्शन रिएक्शन एट बी नथिंग बट आर बी सो थीटा बी इज इक्वल टू द रिएक्शन एट बी सो कट द सेक्शन राइट हैंड साइड इफ यू आर कंसिडरिंग इट इज लेफ्ट हैंड साइड इफ यू कंसिडर दिस एंटायर थिंग राइट हैंड मीन्स आर बी ओके सो हियर इन कॉन्जिकेट बीन राइट हैंड साइड आर बी लेफ्ट हैंड साइड अगेन यू नीड टू कैलकुलेट एवरी थिंग इंस्टेड ऑफ दैट डायरेक्टली थीटा बी दैट इज सपोर्ट एट बी द शेयर फोर्स विल बी डायरेक्टली आर बी बट द साइन कन्वेंशन कट अ सेक्शन फ्रॉम लेफ्ट वर्ड्स अपवर्ड्स फ्रॉम राइट वर्ड्स डाउन वर्ड्स इफ इट इज देन इट इज पॉजिटिव करेक्ट बट हियर द रिएक्शन इज अपवर्ड्स यू आर कटिंग अ सेक्शन राइट वर्ड्स इट इज अपवर्ड्स सो आर बी इट इज माइनस थ्री थर्टी फोर पॉइंट सेवन टू बाय ई आर ओके सिमिलरली इफ आई फॉन्ट टू फाइंड द थीटा ए सो वॉट विल बी थीटा ए अगेन स्लोप एट ए इन रियल बीम इज इक्वल टू शेयर फोर्स एट ए इन कॉन्जिकेट बीम सो वॉट इज द शेयर फोर्स एट ए इन कॉन्जिकेट बीम नथिंग बट आर ए टोटल वर्टिकल फोर्स यू आर कटिंग द सेक्शन हियर लेफ्ट हैंड साइड इट इज आर ए राइट हैंड साइड इट इज एंटर फिगर विथ आर बी सो इट्स बेटर इफ कैन कंसिडर आर ए सो नथिंग बट रिएक्शन एट ए दैट इज आर ए सो आर ए हाउ मच इट इज सो फोर ट्वेंटी सेवन पॉइंट सेवन एट बाय ई आर ओके सो हियर दे हैव नॉट आस्ट इफ इट इज आस्ट वी कैन कैलकुलेट लाइक दिस सो थीटा ए इज नथिंग बट आर ए थीटा बी इज नथिंग बट आर बी ऑलवेज रिमेंबर दिस इन केस ऑफ सिंपली सपोर्टेड बीम ओके देन अगेन थीटा सी वॉट इज थीटा सी सो हियर सो स्लोप एट सी इन रियल बीम इज इक्वल टू शेयर फोर्स एट सी इन कॉन्जिकेट बीम that is theta c is equal to so here the conjugate beam here is the conjugate beam correct so you are finding at point c the point c is here this is point d so means you are cutting a section here okay either you can consider left hand side either you can consider entire right hand side so total vertical force acting left hand side or right hand side so it's better if you can consider left hand side because only triangle is there and reaction ra is there if you consider right hand side so 1 2 3 figures then plus rb correct so it's better consider left hand side so left hand side if it is upward positive so ra it is upwards so ra is how much ra 427.78 by ei then this figure it is downwards so minus half into base is 3 meters into height of this triangle is 200 by ei okay this is theta c so if you find this theta c so here you will be getting just a minute i will be calculating 600 divided by 2 300 So, so you will be getting 127.78 by ER. Okay, radians. Do not forget to write radians. The unit of slope is radians. Okay. So similarly, you can calculate at point D also. If you can calculate at point D. That is slope at D in real beam is equal to shear force at D in conjugate beam. So theta D. So now which figures you will consider to calculate slope at D? So you are calculating at D. So either you can consider the entire left hand side one two three plus this reaction, or else this right hand side. Right hand side R B is there, and this figure is there. So it's better you can consider now right hand side. so right hand side what is the sign convention cut a section if it is downwards positive 
then if it is upwards then it will be negative so rb is upwards so we can write minus rb is how much 334.72 by ei then this area of this triangle is downward so minus oh, sorry plus so plus half into base is 3 meters into height is 250 by 3 EI okay if you simplify this if you simplify this you will be getting around minus 209.72 by EI radians this is theta d so we have calculated all the values theta a theta b theta c and theta t okay so this is the way how we will calculate the slopes now we need to calculate the deflection okay so that is according to that is according to the conjugate beam theorem 2 so here delta b and delta c they have asked so delta b if i find delta b that is deflection at b in real beam is equal to what now it is bending moment at b in conjugate beam so deflection at b in real beam is equal to bending moment at b in conjugate beam so what will be their deflection at b in real beam okay here that is delta b so bending moment at b in conjugate beam what will be the bending moment at b in conjugate beam correct so just check it so what will be so do you think this particular support is undergoing any deflection so obviously no so you will be getting the delta b is equal to 0 okay even if you want to find delta a even that is also 0 why these supports they will not allow the beam to move vertically downwards deflection will be 0 correct rotation is possible the slope is existed but the deflection will be 0 this delta b is 0 so now if you find delta c so instead of i will change this deflection at point c in real beam is equal to bending moment at point c in conjugate beam here the point c so this is the point c okay so which figure it is better to calculate bending moment so left hand side so ra is there and this figure is there if you consider right hand side one two three and this reaction due to all those things we need to calculate moment at c so it's better left hand side only one figure is there so that is delta c is equal to this ra into three meters minus half into base and height is 200 by ei into perpendicular distance about point c so only it is one third of three so simplify this you will be getting 983.3 by e okay similarly if you find delta d so now which figure you will consider now at point d so right hand side so only this figure and this okay now cut a section right hand side if it is anticlockwise positive so rb is making movement at point d anticlockwise so that is rb into 3 then this it is clockwise so minus half into base is 3 meters height is 250 by 3 ei okay 250 by 3 ei and perpendicular distance this that is one third of three correct so if you simplify this you will be getting it is 879.16 by ei okay 
so reflection in meters okay delta c and delta d delta a and delta b are zeros because this simple support will not allow the beam to move vertically downwards is that okay okay we'll stop it here we'll continue in next class